Hello. So, ladies and gentlemen, when we're dealing with absolute value, there's a couple things that we need to remember. All right, if I say the absolute value of x, um, remember that could equal x, right? But the absolute value of x can also equal negative x. Because what if, if, if I put in negative apps, or if I do, right? So I can use either a negative or x that's still going to give me the exact same value. So remember, there's two different paths that we worked on. When we solved absolute value equations, remember we have to look at two different forms. We have to look at solving it for x plus 3 minus 1 equals 2 and x over 3 minus 1 equals negative 2. So now we just simply solve by using our, reverse, our inverse operations and reverse order of operations. So I add 1 on both sides. That's going to remain the same. Then I have x over 3 equals 3. And here I have x over 3 equals negative 1. Now remember, since my variable is now being divided by 3, the, the inverse operation of dividing is to multiply by 3. And you can kind of do this at the same time. So therefore, that divides to 1. So x equals 9. In this case, x equals negative 3. So there you go. You're going to have two solutions. So just remember, when we're dealing with absolute value, we've got to make sure you equate for the positive and the negative. All right?